This is a spoiler-free review of Duel. Duel is similar in tone to that of The Art of Self-Defense. If you haven't seen that film yet, seek it out. It's good, and I think you should pair these films together because of the dry humor. And similar to how Jesse Eisenberg plays steely, unapproachable, and a glacier of emotion in The Art of Self-Defense, that's how Karen Gillan, the star of this film, plays her character. It's challenging when actresses play female protagonists who are icy characters. I think Gillen, though, pulls this off, just like Jesse Eisenberg pulled it off in The Art of Self-Defense. Making this character more robotic than her tether makes the audience choose which of them should survive, which keeps you engaged in the story. So Karen Gillen plays Sarah, who's been told by her doctor that she has a terminal illness with very little time to live, left to live. Writer-director Raleigh Stearns was careful never to use cancer as the diagnosis. In a dystopian world like this, where you can clone humans, passing a genetic disease like cancer onto your clone wouldn't make much sense in this world where you can live forever by duplicating yourself. So anyway, Sarah orders a clone which comes out taller and with different eyes than she has, but she goes with it. That immediate distinction is in the first act. Sarah proceeds to train and domesticate her clone, and then her clone begins to get a character of her own. She takes initiative, or rather advantage, of Sarah's original Sarah's familial relationships, designing her own arc and distancing herself from the original. Sarah's boyfriend and mother, they like clone Sarah better, which in some ways protect their heart from grieving the original Sarah when she dies. Soon though, original Sarah learns from her doctor that the diagnosis was wrong and that she made a mistake and that she's, Sarah's no longer dying. So Sarah tries to have her clone decommissioned, but clone Sarah opts to execute her right to duel to the death. That's the premise of the story. And that's in the trailer, so it's not giving anything away. This story is better executed, in my opinion, than last year's Swan Song starring Mahershala Ali. It doesn't have the ethical issues Swan Song ignored. In Swan Song, the protagonist secretly clones himself without his wife's and son's knowledge, without them knowing. That presents issues of his wife being intimate with a clone against her knowledge, and that's very unethical. It's totally ignored in Swan Song. Not in this film. Sarah's boyfriend chooses the clone over the original, and so does her mother. So they were presented with the truth and made their own decision. So that's what I did appreciate about this film, that it didn't have to deal with those ethical issues or it didn't ignore them. Um, this is a decent film. It's dark and the comedic beats, the comedic beats are subtle, but they land. This film is rated R and has a runtime of 134 minutes. On a grading scale, I give this film a C. You don't have to rush to the theaters to see this film, but it's always good to support independent films and filmmakers. So if it's in your town, See it. It's a good time.